This is Justin Germino here from DragonBlogger.com. I'm here to show you how to upgrade your laptop RAM using Kingston memory. For this demonstration, I've got Lenovo Z575 laptops, and I'll be upgrading with 8 gigs of brand new memory. The tools you're going to need are a mini screwdriver or a mini screwdriver kit like this one, which is pretty cheap, about 10 bucks from Lowe's or Home Depot. And then, of course, you're going to need to order your Kingston RAM. In the first part of my video, I talked about how to find the right RAM for your laptop. We're going to be upgrading these two Lenovo Z575 laptops, this one here and this one here. And I'll be showing you how to open the cases up and replace the RAM sticks. Now, when replacing the RAM in any laptop, the first thing you want to do is the obvious. Make sure your laptop is powered off, for one, and unplugged. The second thing you want to do is you're going to want to take out the battery or take off the battery. This is just so there isn't any potential of an accidental turn on or or charge or anything to the laptop. So with the battery removed, you're ready to go ahead and open up the case. On the Lenovo Z575, you'll see screws right here in the compartment, and you'll see it gives you little symbols that indicate that the memory is in this section. So you want to start opening up the case. Find your screwdriver tip with the tip that fits the tiny little screws in the top of the case, and you should be good to start unscrewing the laptop. Now, there's a lot of screws that you don't need to unscrew, so just look for the ones that are actually in this component area here. And sometimes you'll need to unscrew them all the way up because they might stay connected just a little bit. When you think you've got all the screws unplugged, you can go ahead and start prying a little bit and just see if you got give from all the screws. Make sure you got them all. And then the case opens. So here you got the guts of your laptop. Your memory sticks on the kinks on the... Uh, Lenovo Z5 and Cyber are here. We'll take a look here so you can see that zoomed in. So these are the sticks you're going to remove and replace with the Kingston memory sticks. To remove the existing memory sticks, what you're going to do is look for the little tiny prongs and pull them outward, and you'll see the memory stick kind of tilts upwards. Gently extract it and then set it aside. It's best if you have an anti-static bag uh, to put it on, but I don't have one one of those with me right now. So again, with the bottom memory stick, go ahead and pull these little pins sideways. It'll slightly raise. Then use two fingers on each hand and gently extract the memory stick. Be careful not to bend them. Set them aside. Now, with your brand new Kingston memory sticks, you got to make sure that the pins line up properly. You want to set the back or bottom memory stick first. Gently put it in around the same angle. You'll know when it goes in snugly. And then slide it down. And as you slide it down, you'll hear it click into place as the pins lock. And repeat with the top stick. Again, you don't have to push very hard. It slides in pretty easily. Just set it in, slide it to where it won't go anymore, and then set it down. There. It's that simple. Now you just screw your case back on, and you power on your laptop, and you're ready to see the RAM in your BIOS. Once you have the laptop RAM replaced and you're booted back into Windows, go ahead and right-click on your computer, and then go to Properties. And then under your Windows information, you should go ahead and see now that you have 8 gigabytes of installed RAM, whereas this previous model had 6 gigs of installed RAM. This shows that Windows is detecting the memory and shows it properly. Again, only a 64-bit operating system, 64-bit Windows, can see more than 3 gigs of RAM. So if you're running an older version of Windows, like Windows XP for some reason, or 32-bit of Windows 7, you won't be able to see more than 3 gigs of RAM. So only 64-bit Windows 7 and Windows 8 can see 8 gigs of RAM. Thank you for watching.